Jamal Nayaz here at For the Love of Horror with Monopoly Events, and we're here with Fiona Dorif. What an amazing turnout it's been for yourself and your father here this weekend. So many people geeking out over Chucky and just horror in general with you. Uh, yeah, there's been, I don't know, 4,000 Chuckies. There's like sexy Chucky. There's Chucky family. There's Chucky couples. There's like Chucky Tiffany fusion. Wow. Um, it's been so fun. I love Chucky fans. Chucky fans are the best fans best yeah. fucking fans and obviously your father is the icon himself uh i bet i bet he's sick of you mentioning it sometimes but like he obviously played a, a massive influence in generating your love of the genre what was that experience like having him growing up and did he introduce you to the character from a young age or did he try and keep it away from you um Okay, so I, I basically don't remember not being Chucky's daughter, uh, but I, I think my first memory of this was being a kid. I, I mean, Chucky came out when I was seven, mm -hmm. so I was probably six years old, and I went into a room, and my dad was in a glass box, and he was screaming like he was dying, yeah. <laughs> and I freaked out, and I ran, and the rest of it's kind of fragmented, obviously. I hid under something. Nobody could find me, and uh, I was told later that it was the scene of Chucky being burned to death, <laughs> so, so yeah, that was traumatized. Funny. I think that I was at the premiere, but again, I've never gotten a confirmed answer, yes or no, and, and the memory might be... Um, uh, fabricated as happens. Um, but yeah, I've always been Chucky's kid. It was like the cool thing about me in high school. The only cool thing. Oh, definitely not. And then <laughs> jo joining the franchise yourself, that must be both emotional for you, but even more so for your father to, to see that. Have you ever had that experience where you've been to a premiere, watched yourselves on the big screen, and obviously the show is out as well, which you, you're a part of as well. You ever sat there and thought, wow, this is a real full circle moment because it's not just a film, it's it's your family and it's your lives as well. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, so both me and my dad hate watching ourselves. Oh. I would rather do anything <laughs> else than sit in a premiere and watch myself act. Um, uh, so that's never... <laughs> enjoyable um yeah we uh the whole thing feels like really surreal um and really lucky i know everybody says that but it's the it's kind of the dominating feeling like uh don mancini is also like a a really close friend of mine he's become a close friend of mine since i've been in the series um and then my dad, obviously, Nick Antosca is somebody I knew for a really long time. Um, so it feels like we get to make this thing with people that I love and then other people like it. Mm -hmm. So, and I get paid. Anyway, it just feels like I won some kind of lottery. Definitely. That's really true. Definitely. You live in the dream of every horror <laughs> fan, 100%. Um, we were just talking off camera before we were nerding out about horror a bit and just films in general. Yeah. It seems like you're a huge fan of cinema and you kind of have to be in the yeah. job that you're in. Um, just talking about like recent horror films that have affected you. We were talking about one in particular, but we can mention that one and some others as well. Yeah. 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 Um, well, we we're talking about talk to me, yeah. which was great. Um, and excellent performances. We were talking about, um, Bo is afraid, which is pretty polarizing. Is yeah. it horror? Um, sometimes hard to watch. Joaquin Phoenix is everything. Uh, let let me think of horror that I I loved. I mean, when when horror is good, so good. There's nothing better. No better movies can be made. Um, and I was talking his ear off about a movie that's not horror, <laughs> but everyone has to listen to it anyway. It's called About Dry Grass Grasses. It's a Turkish film. It was there. Uh, it placed at Cannes. Um, fucking watch that movie, people. I'm making a note of it. About dry grasses. I can't pronounce the filmmaker's name, so I'm not saying it. But it's the it's the main Turkish kind of auteur or whatever. Okay, yeah. thanks. 100%. <laughs> well, I really appreciate your time. I know that you're heading over to a stage panel in a minute and you're going to be nerding out with so many fans about that. So just en enjoy the rest of the day. And it's been an absolute pleasure to speak with you and um, enjoy the city of Manchester whilst you can. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I love Chucky fans. You guys are the best. I love you so much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you.